hear so much more from him, and I'm the one that broke him first. Give it up and make some noise to Mr. Dylan Garcia! <laughs> Arizona looking beautiful. Hey, what up, ladies? Hey. What's up? You like that right there? It's real. You know what they say, once you go chubby, you want to make him your hubby, right? Once you sleep with fatty, you're going to call him daddy. It's the rules. Congratulations on Gabriel getting the show. Now Latinas need a show, right? Imagine that. Coming in the fall. Hispanic housewives. <laughs> right? Latinas, they need their own show. It's true. It's true. Right? You guys are all beautiful. Can you imagine how much drama, though, would be in that show? Just like, no, Maria thinks she's all bad because she got a welfare check early. <laughs> Forget her. Her eyebrows look all stupid. <laughs> Sharpie face, whatever. She gets all personal with it. No, she thinks she's all bad because Jaime graduated. <laughs> That's your dad. He should have graduated 30 years ago, okay? <laughs> Get out of here. It's good, though, man. It's real good to be out here. She's got a bunch of guys who wear clothes that fit them. Because I'm from Hollywood. All I see is grown men wearing skinny jeans. And I try to fit into the crowd, but I don't fit into the jeans. This past Halloween, my girlfriend tried to dress me up like Spider-Man. I know, right? So I told her very nicely, like a gentleman. Walked up to her real soft, grabbed her arm. I was like, look, stupid. <laughs> You're not going to get me in the Spider-Man costume. It's not going to happen. Like, you got a better chance of trying to make a mermaid do the splits because <laughs> it ain't going to happen. Because honestly, guys, look at me. I don't look like Spider-Man, right? Hell no. I look like I ate Spider-Man. <laughs> I don't even need the costume. I take off my shirt, my stretch marks of the webs, what up? <laughs> That's how I catch women, because I'm too lazy to run after them. <laughs> Come here. I caught a girl my size one time. I was like, whoa. <laughs> Stop eating the web, mija. I'm trying to catch you. <laughs> Sure enough, Halloween time comes around, I got my Spider-Man costume on. <laughs> and I look across the street and I see this lady, she's butt naked. And I walk up to her, I'm like, man, what the hell are you supposed to be? She's like, I'm a porn star, duh. <laughs> I was like, wow, really, Grandma? Get in the house. <laughs> my friends are here. Played a lot of sports growing up, man. Played a lot of sports, played baseball. I was always on a team, man. And every guy, every team mom in here knows that you do not cry after you lose. You know that. You do not cry. And I was always on a team that lost, and I didn't get it. And they're crying after the game. I'll go up to them. I'll be like, bro, why are you crying? We're going to go get pizza. <laughs> Did you forget? <laughs> bro, I had a foul ball. I'm getting wings. Women are ridiculous. I love you, but you're crazy. You guys can do some crazy things. A girl will get with you and leave you for the exact same reason. You know that? Like with me, I'm a comedian. Girls get with me because I'm a comedian, and then they leave me because everything's a joke to me. <laughs> like, come on, baby. You didn't see that coming? <laughs> and I'm young, but I feel old. You guys ever get that feeling? I can only imagine how you feel, but I feel that way sometimes. <laughs> I mean, come on, look at my thing. He's sitting down already. He's not even standing up. Sarge in the house. It's good, though, man. I want to go back to the days where you had no worries, man. Where you didn't have to worry about no bills. You didn't have to worry about none of that. Where you were just playing street games with your friends, like hide and seek. You guys remember hide and seek? Man, I used to hide behind things that I couldn't fit behind. 
I'm standing behind a mailbox or a tetherball pole just chill. <laughs> Yeah. <gasps> I love you guys. We used to play freeze tag too. You guys remember freeze tag? Shit, man, I was always frozen like this. I used to tell my friends not to unfreeze me because I was still tired from running. <laughs> Get off me. Don't touch me. It's cool. I stopped playing with them though, man. I don't want to play with them no more because one time they decided to let our blind friend play. This dude was blind. They decided to let him play hide and seek with us. I know, right? So I was like, I thought, at first I was like, no, it's hide and seek, not hide and hear. He can't play. <laughs> and I thought about it. I was like, yo, if this dude's blind and I can't hide, yeah, he should play. <laughs> he found me. <laughs> I swear to God, this little blind kid is walking around. Dylan, I can hear you breathing. <laughs> Dylan, I can smell the hot Cheetos in your back pocket. <laughs> hmm. I got all mad at my friends. I was like, yo, this dude is blind. Who the hell told him I was fat? I got all mad. I was like, no, Bobby, you can't play. The game's called hide and seek. You can't seek. He goes, Dylan, well, I guess you can't play either because you can't hide. <laughs> I think I love I love the diversity in the room, man. We're all coming together as one to create laughter, man. That's beautiful. It is, man. Yeah. It's beautiful, man. We got them all. Got the black people in the house tonight. We got my brothers and sisters in the house. Hey. I wish I had. No, it's crazy, man. Because whenever you say what's up to a black guy, doesn't he make you feel like the most important person in the world? He does. I swear to God. Like, sir, what's your name? Carl. Charles? We'll take Charles. <laughs> I need a black name for the joke, homie. Like if I man, if I knew it like a Charles, man, I'm just I'm just gonna go with Terrell, okay? It's, I'm gonna go with Terrell. If I knew a Terrell, and I hadn't seen Terrell in a long time. And it's our reuniting right here. I was like, yo, Terrell, what's up, man? It's me, Dylan, from back in the day. Do you remember me? It's Dylan. Terrell will always go like this. Hey, man, you know this fool right here? <laughs> Dylan. Dylan? Oh, damn. Woo! Terrell, you make you feel so special. It's good though, man. Black black women, I don't understand. Why are black women always so busy? For real, they're always going, man, I ain't got time for this shit. <laughs> Baby, you're at a bus stop. <laughs> you got a little bit of time for me, okay? I wish I had it like a like a like a, like a designated black person to follow me around to say the stuff I want to say, but I can't. Cause black people don't have filters; they just say it. Imagine that, like, like I'm breaking up with a girl. I mean, you know, baby, uh, comedy's getting real tough right now. I just it's getting real hard for me. I just I just can't do it. The black guy comes out of nowhere and he's like, "Bitch, you ugly." <laughs> I 
what he was trying to say. But he ain't black. Thank you, Charles. That was easy. Last thing, man. You guys all know black people always talk like they're putting on lotion. You know that, right? Like, hey, man, you remember that we was talking about last week, baby? You know what we was talking about? We're gonna do a real big, homie. I ain't messing with you no more, cuz.